What is going on guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of the Subscriber Sanctuary Park. Last we left off, we added in a few dinosaurs. We got a couple raptors who died, and that's really the only deaths we had. We have a few compies. We got stegos, parasaurs, brachys. We even got some aquatics like the mosasaurus, the ichthyosaurus, all that crap and whatever. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to be uh, adding in some more species. Because that's what we do here. We're adding in more species, trying to fill this place up. So, why don't we start with the aquatics. So I kind of want to expand the aquatic area a little bit. So I'm going to have to get rid of these feeders so I can expand. Alright, we expanded it a little bit. That's kind of a little, un like, limited and whatever. We do have aquatics being like dragged in so let me just put the feeders back in so we got some shark feeders there we go all right so we got the mosasaurus kind of just swimming around over here that's nice we do have a couple more aquatics like one of them being we got some more low health stuff it's just raptors dying left and right yeah i kind of want to just uh put the raptors somewhere else yeah, because the T-Rexes are just going to keep killing them. We'll get a new batch of raptors and maybe put them like... I don't know. Over here? So they're at least away from the T-Rexes. Alright, let me move one of the feeders like... Maybe over here. So they'll be like more inclined to head over towards the herbivores and whatever. Alright. We'll release the raptors and then we'll look at the list. So, do we have any movie skins? We got Delta... Charlie. So we got two Deltas and a Charlie. Alright, that's the movie skins we've got in. Alright, while the Raptors are being cooked up, let's see what we've got for Aquatics. The, the list has been updated since the last time we were here because a lot of you seem to want more dinosaurs in there. So for the Terrestrials, we've got Acrocanthosaurus, Allosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Archaeornithomimus, Atrociraptor, Brachiosaurus, Carnotaurus, Compsognathus, Dilophosaurus, Diplodocus, Euopocephalus, Herrerasaurus, Megalosaurus, Nesudoceratops, Parasaurolophus, Sinoceratops, Stegosaurus, Tarbosaurus, Triceratops, T-Rex, Velociraptor, Wuerosaurus, and Euterenus. For Pterosaurs, we have five of them. Dimorphodon, Sungaripterus, Geosternbergia, Pteranodon, and Quetzalcoatlus. And for aquatics, we have five. Dunkelosteus, Ichthyosaurus, Megalodon, Mosasaurus, and Nothosaurus. So, here's really the plan. We're going to add four new terrestrial creatures, and then the three of each of the aquatics and pterosaurs. So let's start with the aquatics. So, the ones on the list are Dunkelosteus. I'm going to add that in. We'll get, like, I don't know, three of them? Yeah, we'll get three of them so we can, like, have, like, a group of them. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Jurassic World Evolution 3 to come out. Or whatever this new game's gonna be called. Because I don't think they're gonna update this game anytime soon. And I am not using mods. I really am not using mods. I refuse to. And what was the third one? Nothosaurus. Alright. We'll add Nothosaurus in. Get all six of them. Or however many there are. Alright, let's get some platforms going. So then when we eventually do get Archelon, unless you guys don't want Archelon, then whatever. But Archelon, once we eventually get that, then we'll be able to... Alright, let's get quite a few of these. Alright, I think that's good enough. I should probably decorate the underwater world. Alright, let's get Dunkelosteus out. We'll hatch all three of them. The one Megalodon... And then all six Nothosaurs. Alright, and while we wait, let's work on the Pterosaurs. And that'll be six of them already done. And then we just need to add in the four new dinosaurs. Also, if you have any suggestions for dinosaurs and you want to give a dinosaur a name, then I'm happy to oblige to that as well. So, there we got that. Alright, so that's the Pterosaurs done. Let's get all six of them. All three of them. And then the one Quetzal. So, uh, I guess we'll release the new pack of raptors. So for the four, we'll release two carnivores and two herbivores. Alright, 
All right, so that's that done. Let's release the creatures in the aviary. Fill that up. Geosternbergia. There we go. And finally, the Quetzalcoatlus. So we finally have a wider variety of pterosaurs in this aviary. After that, let's release the aquatics. Let's start with the Dunkelosteus. We'll save the Megalodon for last. And every time one species dies, we'll replace it with another. If one species dies out, we'll replace it with another. Alright, so that's Dunkelosteus done. Let's get Nothosaurus next. We got one Lux version, which is good. Alright, so that's... And last but not least, Megalodon. Probably competing with the Mosasaurus for food. There we go. Alright, so... For the... Herbivores, you know what? I might get, like, two hatcheries. Let's get one over here, maybe. Actually, no. You know what? No. We got two Sungaripteruses. I'm guessing that's what that is. Fighting each other. Which isn't really the greatest. So, I'm thinking for the four new carnivores, or new dinosaurs even. For the herbivores, let's have Triceratops and Ankylosaurus. And then for the carnivores, we'll have Dilophosaurus and... What's... Let me get a big carnivore, maybe, uh... Oh, there is Carnotaurus, that is suggested. So maybe Carnotaurus and Dilophosaurus. Yeah, that's what we could do. So let's get Triceratops and uh, Ankylosaurus done first. These guys can coexist together. So if I want to fill out a space, I'm putting them in a different area from the Stegos because both of them will fight the Stegos for territory. So let's get the trikes going. There we go. So that's our two herbivores taken care of. All right, let's see what they want. What do they want exactly? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. You want ground fiber. That's really all you want. All right. And the ankylosaurs want ground leaf and ground fruit. So let me start filling their enclosure with food. All right, let's release the two herbivores, starting with Triceratops. I didn't even look to see if there was a 1993 skin. We'll have to take a look. Well, somebody did comment that one of the Carnotaurs should be the Alpha and is, uh... Let me see what the skin is for it. Give me a second. All right, Carnotaurus. Name, make one of them Chaplain Valley Rana and name it Vulcan. All right. Champlain Valley, Rana, Vulcan. Got it. Let's release the Ankylosaurus first. I didn't pay attention to the movie skins on this one either. See if we either got a JP3 one or a Bumpy. We got Megalodon fighting a Dunkelosteus. We did get a Bumpy. We did get a Bumpy. That's good. So I wonder what they're going to name Bumpy's kid once they... You know, once Bumpy's egg hatches. I think we'll find out in, like, a future video. Alright, we got King Scar fighting a Velociraptor. I think King Scar is one of the Velociraptors that I have. 
All right, so that's Stegosaur or Triceratops and Ankylosaurus. You know, just to make it a little bit easier, I'll probably get, like, another hatchery going. Like, let's get, like, Dilophosaurus and Pachyrhin... Not Pachyrhinosaurus, um, Carnotaurus. That's it, Carnotaurus. I want something to, like, hunt the herbivores. So maybe we'll put Carnotaurus in here, and then maybe we'll put Dilophosaurus in with the Ankylosaurus and Triceratops. As long as we have some carnivore feeders and whatever, we should be good to go. All right, let's get an arrival point. There we go. All right, Champlain Valley Rana, or Champlain Valley Rana for the, for the Carnotaurus. Accelerated growth. All right, so Carnotaurus. We'll get, I don't know, Three of them? I think we'll get three of them. The other two can be random skins, but one of them has to be Champlain Valley Rana. Alright, so we already got the Rana. We want Champlain Valley Rana. There we go. There's yours. We're gonna modify it to make sure we've got enough stuff. You know what? I'll I'll take this one. This can be our alpha. And then the other two, do we have any movie skins? We have a Toro. We have a Toro. We'll use Toro. And then I guess we'll have this one, too. So these will be the other two. As for the Dilophosaurs, we'll just throw the Dilophosaurs in with the already existing Stegosaurs and Trikes. If they start competing with the, the Raptors for food, then so be it. I don't think they'll bother the Trikes and Ankylos, but if they do, then whatever. Alright, let's start with the Dilophosaurs. Let's release them first. So that's Dilophosaurus done. Let's go ahead and add in the Carnotaurus. We'll start with the Champlain Valley Rana. We'll start with this one. This one can be Vulcan. So there's your Carnotaurus OC right there. And then we'll, of course, release the other two. One of them is the Toro skin. All right. So now we have expanded the variety of dinosaurs a bit. And don't worry, we'll fill up the other side as well as time goes on. And then I might keep some hatcheries over here so we can fill up other areas and whatever. So we got the trikes, we got the ankylos, the dilophosaurs, we got the carnos, and a lot of the other stuff. So we got a Dunkleosteus that did die to the megalodon. We might have to expand the tank at some point because the space might be a little bit limited. We do see a Nothosaurus that's just chilling here. So you know what, I'll just take a picture of that while I can. All right, so that's basically all, like, 10 of them added in. I still have more on the list that I haven't added in yet. And there are a couple of OCs, like one of them did suggest an Allosaurus named Big Al, and that can definitely be arranged, as well as, okay, there's one that wasn't there before. So we got a couple of Acrocanthosaurs that people want me to name, like, there's one here that says Mangrove Forest Lithobates and name it Xavier. There's one that's like Yukon River Lithobates and name it Cookies and Cream. Okay, I, I can definitely arrange that. I can definitely arrange that. That'll be in like next episode. We'll have like another Apex Predator walking around. But until then, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, wait, hold on. I should probably name some of these guys. Like the Alpha Trike here. I should probably name you... We'll name you... I guess Chomp. I'll name you Chomp. It's a Dinosaur King reference. So there's Chomp. The Head Dilophosaurus, I'm thinking we should name... 
Viper. <sighs> Let's name you... Bob. You can just be Bob. Named after my first Ankylo that I tamed in Ark Survival Evolved when I first started playing it. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Now, as I was saying, that is going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.